Hi and welcome to our latest edition of Carpool Radio Keep. We're so lucky today to have SLE, Deputy Head Teacher, all our lovely lady mm -hmm. Nikki Ball here today. And it's special one because it's our first nighttime Carpool first Radio. Nighttime. There we go. So Nikki, you've got a book today. I have and I've also got a little tiny surprise. We have Edgar. And Edgar, Edgar is going to tell us all about him. Oh, and the story is called Excitable. Edgar and he's very excited now <laughs> so shall we read his story yes please shall we go so once upon a winter time that's where Christmas story starts and had a dragon friend that couldn't bear to be apart Edgar was well dragonish a little bit scared <laughs> just look at him it's plain to see and if a dragon gets excited, then his breath turns <sighs> fiery. Now, hot and cold are opposites. I'm sure that's something that you know. So Edgar's fiery dragon breath did not mix well with ice and snow. The children beeled to snowman and they laughed and cheered, delighted. <gasps> oh, but oh dear, snowmen turned to puddles when a dragon gets excited. The next day Edgar was so careful until something caught his eye. Lots of village children skating on a frozen pond nearby. But can you guess what happened next? Yes I think you know too. Edgar's giggles melted the ice and left them quite wet through. I know, it's just that you're excited, I've Ava said and stroked his head. Let's keep away from ice and snow and see the Christmas tree instead. The next day they joined everyone, all gathered in the village square and gazed in wonder at the Christmas wreaths and mistletoe that hung there. Ava patted Edgar's head, remember, she said down. Keep calm. No fire. No flames. No sparks. He nodded with an earnest frown. Suddenly a drum roll started. The crowd all counted one, two, three and there it was at last. Hooray! A huge and splendid Christmas tree. But Edgar was a dragon and dragons not to blame if he shakes and trembles and then <gasps> whoosh you need to read the book to find out what happens to poor edgar oh fantastic i'm a little bit worried about edgar now thank you so much for coming today nikki That's to okay. read this and thank you for all joining in we'll see you next time on carpool radio okay. and find out all about excitable edgar Bye. Bye.